Hi, this is Tim Can for Native Instruments, and in this video, we're going to look at how you can make tropical tuned percussion sounds in FM8. If you don't already own FM8 on its own or as part of Complete, you can check out the demo version by clicking the link in the top right hand corner. Tropical tracks tend to use simple percussive sounds such as mallets, steel drums, and bells, which punch through a mix really easily. They're harmonically rich and fill up the frequency spectrum in an efficient manner, but because they're short, they leave space for other elements in the time domain, typically vocals. Because of these characteristics, tropical sounds are straightforward to mix and are easy on the listener's ears, making them a great choice for crossover dance music. Frequency modulation synthesis is an ideal way to generate these sounds because it's capable of creating really punchy, pristine sounds that can be sculpted into a unique timbre with relative ease. We're going to build on the ideas explored in A Beginner's Guide to FM8, so if you're new to the synth, you might find it useful to watch that video too. Starting with FM8's default patch, click the F button to bring up Oscillator F's page, and drag the node at the top right hand corner of the amplitude envelope down so that it hits the zero mark at around 0.2. Let's turn up the slope slightly so the, the sound isn't quite so tight. This short, simple percussive body is the foundation of our patch, but it doesn't sound very characteristic yet. Let's give it a more interesting attack timbre with some frequency modulation. Right click oscillator E to activate it and turn up the E to F routing to 100 so we can clearly hear the effect it's having. Left click oscillator E to bring up its parameters and turn its ratio up to four to alter the timbre of the sound, adding some higher harmonics. This sound is pretty rough and ready as it is, but we're just going to use the barest touch of this frequency modulation. Drag the node at the top right hand corner of the envelope down so that the oscillator plays for a very short period of time, about 0.06 seconds, and lower the modulation value in the FM matrix to about 16. Now the modulating oscillator is having a much subtler effect on the sound, in fact, you might be wondering how much difference this addition has made at all. But if you try deactivating oscillator E by right clicking on it, you'll hear that it's added a simple but noticeable movement to the sound. We're going to continue making these small additions that will add up to a more drastic change to the sound's overall tone. Next, activate oscillator D. Turn up its oscillator F modulation routing to 9 or so, and turn its ratio up to 8.5. Using an inharmonic, i.e. non-integer, ratio value gives us a bell-like tone. We only want a slight touch of this at the start of the sound though, so drag the node in the amplitude envelope down to the 0.3 region. Now if we try deactivating the modulating oscillators, you'll hear that the effect they're having on the sound is actually quite profound. We've gone from having a flat, synthetic sounding timbre to something that feels more three-dimensional and real. Let's develop the patch further. So far we've used the modulating oscillators ratios to control their pitch, which means that their pitch is always relative to the note we're using to trigger the synth. We can get a different feel by using an offset value instead. Right click oscillator F to deactivate it. As this is the only voiced oscillator, the synth doesn't make any sound when we play a note now. Activate oscillator C and turn up its voiced output in the FM matrix. Set its ratio to zero and turn up the offset parameter as you play the sound via MIDI. You'll notice that the offset value rather than the MIDI input controls the pitch of the oscillator. If you set the offset to about 2.5 kHz and shorten the amplitude envelope, you'll get something that sounds like a clave. Turn the oscillator's output down to zero and route it to modulate oscillator F by 17 or so. Reactivate oscillator F so that we can hear our patch again, and as you play it back, adjust oscillator C's offset. 
As you can hear, changing the offset brightens the sound of the voiced oscillator. And if we set the offset to about 7 kHz, it emphasizes the percussive harmonic at the start of the sound, which helps it pop through the mix without resorting to equalization or dynamics processing. You can make the patch sound crisper by applying some self-modulation to oscillator F. Higher values of self-modulation will give you a more distorted, electro-esque sound, but applying it subtly will just crust up the top end of the sound a little. Finally, to make the patch sound bigger, you can add a reverb effect. In this case, we're using RC24 set to the room algorithm, which helps it sound more natural and fill out the time domain more.